Hey hey, welcome back to Gowns Papercraft. Thank you very much for watching. From making this card, I had two scraps left on my desk and they were just too gorgeous to bin. So I left them lying there for a day or two and then I got the idea for this card to work up these scraps. Isn't it gorgeous? In the video, I'm giving you details on the sizes and how to make it and also how you can colour these flowers with a wink of Stella glitter brush. A really awesome technique. So keep watching. So, a closer look at the card. I really think it's beautiful and with a wink of Stella colouring, which I'm showing you later, it really adds some shimmer. I'm not sure if the camera picks it up, but it makes it look extra special. So, I have here a piece of thick basic white, which is 11 inches by 4 and 1 8. Of course, you can have 4 and a quarter as well. I've scored it at 5 and a half. You need two strips of designer series paper, six inches by one inch, which we're going to die cut, and you're going to need the flowers, and I'll show you later, I'll, I'll make the other one to show you how I do the colouring. First I'm going to do some stamping, and for that I'm going to mask my card, because I don't want the stamping to go onto the back, and I'm putting some scrap paper underneath. So I'm going to stamp on this card and I'm going to stamp the background first and I stamp off because I want the colour to be really light. There's no need to fill in these edges because your designer series paper is going on top of that. This looks funny, doesn't it? Can I correct that? I don't think I can. Try. It's just one of those things. See if I can... Well, it's okay now. <laughs> it looks a bit lighter. No longer. Good. And then I'm going to make the designer series paper strips. To make a beautiful little edge. So I'm putting this one in. And I'm trying to put it in the middle. And then I'm aligning the bows with the top of the designer series paper. I attach it temporarily and then run it through my cut emboss machine. The same way as I did with my um, baby card made with non-baby supplies. You may, perhaps you saw that video as well. So run this through. So now I'm ready to attach my designer series paper to the card and I'm using liquid glue for that. Put a bit here along the edge and then the rest can go onto the designer series paper. Some dots into the scallops. And then I'm making sure that it aligns along the top, checking from this end. And repeat. I'm putting the glue onto the card base because here the bit will stick out and I don't want any glue to peek out from under. So that's why I use both pieces of paper to put the glue on and then as you can see I can stay away from the edges on the designer series paper and now of course I'm aligning it along the bottom I just check from this end looks great okay there's some glue onto my on my paper there. So 
So I did have some peeking out. Oh yeah, there is some, you see? But I'm going to cut this off in a minute, so it should be no problem. Oh dear, and I've put glue there as well. Okay, I'll just leave this to dry. <laughs> I'm really making a mess of things. Okay, um, then the flowers. And you need three of these flowers from the colour and contour, and you need six leaves. I'm going to show you how to make the flower and how to colour it. So I'm changing the stamp now. And instead of this filled in thing, I have a full size stamp. And you see a blue dot there. I'll just take a bigger block. And the blue dot is there on purpose because there's a matching dye. But because the flower is such an irregular shape, if you don't align the stamp with the die, you'll be looking for it for hours. So I've put a blue dot at what I consider the top of my stamp and a blue dot at what I consider the top of my die. So that when I'm stamping, and I seem to have lost my piece of basic white, I had it a minute ago. Okay, I have to cut another one then. Just some scrap. And I'm also putting a dot on my paper. So when things get messed up on my desk, at least I know where the top is because I'm going to stamp the top and then I want to know what the top is for my die cut. I'm going to stamp in Mango Melody. Make sure there's enough ink on. Oh no, um, I'll just leave this for a minute because I need it to do the colouring. But I like to do the colouring with Wink of Stella. Just let me clean off my stump. And this is how you can do it. I just I don't want any Wink of Stella on my stamp pad, of course. So I'll just take a smaller, the smallest block I have and put ink on the block. And then my Wink of Stella. And then I can pick up the colour with my Wink of Stella. And the first stroke is going to be the darkest, so I start in the middle and then I fun out towards the end. And if you think it's too light, you can pick up a bit more colour. Again here, I'm starting in the centre of the flower and I work towards the outside. And now I'm adding a bit more darkness towards the centre. And then all you have to do is clean off your Wink of Stella. And you can see if you gently move it along the paper. See? It cleans off very easily. And it's ready for another Wink of stirring. Um, now then, I'm going to put my die on top, and you see now it's very easy because of the dots that I've used to figure out where the die should go. I'm sticking it down temporarily and running it through my die cut machine. These I stamped as well. You can't see the stamp very well. Um, here it is. This is the one and I coloured it with Wink of Stella and Soft Succulent. This is um, polished pink and this is Fresh Freesia by the way. And then I fussy cut these leaves. There's no dye for those, but I like fussy cutting. No problem at all. So I'm going to run this through. I love the mini machine for this sort of work. I do have the large, the, the, the bigger stamp and emboss machine, but um, well, it's a bit more wieldy, unwieldy on my desk, I should say. Unwieldy is the word I was looking for. I'll just put those away later. Now, 
My card should be dry and there's some glue there but I'm going to rub it off. I have this eraser for it which we used to sell. We no longer sell it but mine is still good. Sometimes I just take off the mucky bits and then it's good to go again because I managed to put glue where I didn't want it. So I'm going to remove the pieces of designer series paper that stick out. This end too, of course. Now oh, it's a beautiful fit. There's a bit more stamping to do because I want a sentiment and I've chosen the one from the stamp set as well. So very happy for you. I like the font. It's really beautiful. So I'm trying to get it onto my block as straight as I can. Make sure. Oh, I always think this is tricky because my card is almost finished now. And if I get it wrong this time, I'll have to start again. So fingers crossed. Well, it's on straight even. Great. Now then, I'm using my stamping dimensionals to pop the flowers on. I want them to pop up a bit because I want to tuck the leaves underneath. And I'm looking for my tweezers. So put a dimensional on the flower just in the centre. And I want my fresh freesia one to go towards the top and I'm just putting it just slightly over the um, designer series paper edge and I'm going to tuck the leaves under using my glue dots Now I can just lift up the flower a bit and stick the leaf under. And I want two to go roughly there. And two towards the bottom. See that's the great thing about the dimensionals. It gives you plenty of room to stick your leaves under. And there you have the card finished. Well, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.